Hi everyone. Okay, I want to show you my little new baby girl's outfit of the night. Isn't she adorable? Okay, so if I can zoom out here, look at this cute outfit. And don't uh, mind my closet right now. I'm in the middle of revamping the nursery for her and her sister, my Ashen Drake, Mally. Here's her outfit. They're both in Winnie the Pooh. See, here's Winnie the Pooh. Aww. In her little dress. And her bunny. I kind of made, like, bunnies her theme. Because I have so much bunny stuff. And then here's the new little girl. Oh, you're just a little mama's girl, aren't you? Get that thing out of your mouth. Here's her outfit. And she's playing with her little taggy. Isn't it? Is that your blankie? She's a blanket girl, aren't you? Here's a face. You. Don't you look real? Oh, there's your big girl. Thought I'd show you a more up close view of her since the lighting wasn't really well in the box opening. But this is a pretty good. This is actually my closet. Look at her little flush cheeks. Look at her little hands. Oh. I like that this artist really didn't do much of the, um, yeah, I can't think, um, white tipped lines on her nails. Let it focus, what's it gonna focus? No, it's not, so I'll just zoom back out, sorry about that. But yeah, I'm glad the, uh, nails aren't very white tipped, because, I mean, yeah, babies have white on their nails but not too noticeable. I think it looks nice and real. And look at her little socks. They're just little knee highs and they're all fuzzy. So I'll work better with my camera abilities. It's kind of funny. I do photography but I can't record on video. <laughs> here. Here. Let me take this away for you for a second. Show them what your outfit looks like. It's Winnie the Pooh too. It's Winnie the Pooh bibs. Cute. She just has the sweetest face. Here. Look at that face. You're gonna look cute with little bow ties in your hair. And headbands. I have tried a headband on her already. Here. This is... She actually has one of my boy chewy toys. Here, use your girl one. Here you go. If you hear, I don't know if that, uh, you can hear in the background, but if you hear my cat meowing, he doesn't like to, um, not be in my room. My door is closed right now. Oh. Oh, and she looks really cute with pacifiers. I just, tomorrow I'm going, um, do a little bit of shopping and she's actually going to be getting her first blankie, her main blankie. She's borrowing her sister's right now because I wanted to have this be the background instead of the bouncer because it's blue. I'll have to sometimes get, sometime get a girl bouncer. But here's the pa what she'll look like with a passy. Won't she look adorable? Can't get it to stay because it's not but here's, you'll get the idea. Go get the picture. Oh, How sweet. But that's my baby girl in her first outfit of the night, outfit of the day. I guess more night since it's e later evening. Oh.
Okay, quick intermission. Sorry about that. I want to put a bow tie um, headband on her. Isn't it cute? Cute, cute, cute. Aww. I just grabbed one. It wasn't um, probably the one I would choose if I kept it on her tonight for this outfit, but I wanted to give you the idea. Too sweet, aren't you? And her name that I decided on is McGenna. I hope you guys like it or don't mind it. McGenna either, um, well, McGenna actually is a name that I got from, yeah, the baby names, like one of the websites. And, but that was a while ago, and her, first time I heard it, I l loved it, and I actually am one of those weird people that have, like, a list I write down on a piece of paper of baby names I like, just to have for, for the fun of it, and I just like it, and it fits her, and, and cute, yes. Well, McGenna actually means... Um, moon or something, yeah, means moon and something else uh, dealing with that. Um, and Native American, I mean, she's not Native American or anything, but I like the Native American culture. And one of my favorites is Native American, and I also like um, Irish background since I am also Irish or part of. And her middle name, I was thinking to be Shay. I know it's heard of and people are, uh, not that many people are called Shay, but as a name given to them, but I like it, McGenna Shay. I kind of like it, and it, well, Shay is also, as I was saying, Irish. It's Irish for admirable, it means, I think, it means admirable or one who is noble. It's not really, like, anything special meaning but just thought I'd tell ya. I also really like well that was what my uh mom thought of but I also really liked and I don't know why I'm not usually into those like two middle names put into one type of thing but I was also thinking Laray. McGenna Laray. I kinda just like how it flows together. So I'm down to those two and anybody that watches this wants to give me an idea which you like more, I'll also write down the names under the description to see how, to show you how I'd write it or like spell it. But yeah, I like McGenna. It's very different. It's, well, I think so. I haven't seen or heard anybody name that yet, so. Well, that I know of. You look like a McGenna, don't you, baby girl? you like McGenna? Huh? It's either going to be McGenna or... What was the other one? Uh, now I forget. Don't I, baby girl? I like Delia, but her, her gammy didn't like it, so... I also liked... Well, my favorite... One of my favorite girl names is actually an old name. It's Veda. But she... My... My... Her gammy, that's like the name she don't like the most, so she wasn't getting that, huh? So I like McGenna Shay or McGenna Larray. You guys tell me what you think, and um, I have another two options, but um, I, I also liked um, like McGenna Poet, but it was kind of just more, not heard of, but just kind of, I don't know, it's not really a name as much as a word, poet, my oh, sweetheart. So you let me know and I'll let you go now and she's probably ready for a nap anyways or go to bed since it is night time, okay? Bye guys, thank you for watching. Bye.